Hi everyone, I'm, I'm back to do another video for you. Uh, back still in the hospital, we actually transferred to another hospital. Um, for those of you that don't know us, or I'm saying us, we, my son has been in the hospital since January 8th and we transferred to another hospital, um, a hospital in Los Angeles, California, and just for an evaluation of my son's heart because he was di diagnosed with congestive heart failure last month. And so they sent him over there for an eval because um, it was looking pretty bad and they wanted to see if there was anything they could do to help him. Uh, we were sent back um, Saturday morning around 1 a.m. because they didn't find anything um, visibly wrong. I think things have improved over the last week or so, so praise God for that. So now we just have some breathing issues that we're dealing with and some nausea, vomiting, and um, things like that. But um, all of you who know him and have been praying for him and us, thank you so much. I, I, I read the comments and thanks to us to my eyes to know that people actually care and that your words of encouragement really mean a lot. I, I don't always respond, but that doesn't mean I don't read them. And I think you. I try to respond to Facebook messages, text messages, voicemail messages, and um, YouTube messages as best that I can. I'm very tired, time limited, but um, the purpose of this video um, was because in just about an hour, well, less than an hour now, I've been trying to record since 5 o'clock, but it's 5.23 um, p.m. Pacific time, and at 6 o'clock Eastern time, I'm just trying to find the article, there's this huge um, space rock that says it's going to fly by the Earth, it says safely fly by the Earth, and the computer decides to act slow while I'm recording. If I can find that article for you. There's another article about drought in California. I don't know if you guys have been hearing about that. But yeah, there is a drought in California and um, they're actually looking to seawater to meet the needs of several parts of the city. So the article is I'll just go back to the main page again where I found that. But I'm always looking for it. Like my eyes, I keep my eyes and ears open for things like this. And, I'm just kind of sitting here, um, trying to have a busy day here at the hospital with my son, but um, got a little sick during group time and had to go back to the room. But, okay, watch asteroid fly by Earth. It changed it. the heading, it had a different title. Okay, huge asteroid to fly safely by Earth Monday. Watch it live. This is an NBC News um, webpage. It says an asteroid the size of three football fields is set to make a close brush of Earth on Monday, February 17th, and you can watch the flyby in a live webcast. It says it poses no threat of actually hitting the planet, but there's a space camera that will track the asteroid as it passes by Earth on Monday today. Um, the webcast will start at 9 Eastern Time, and you can also, when it says 0200 February 18th GMT, so that's another, it must be another, um, it is another time zone, but maybe over in Europe, if you're in Europe watching. And you can also watch the webcast directly through the SLU website. That's S is in Sam, L-O-O-H website. You can participate in the broadcast by using the hashtag number S. Well, I'll let you read the rest. If you go to NBCnews.com, um, look at the asteroid fly, flyby. Today's date, I'm sure it'll pull up. Or you can go to the MSN, www.msn.com homepage, and if it, towards the middle of the page, you'll see that heading on the left-hand column. It'll tell you, you can watch the asteroid flyby. Um, you can also watch the live broadcast on space.com. So, and I said it's really whizzing, and it whizzed by the Earth pretty quickly at a quick pace, pace, and it will be, if you know anything about space, if you're a space buff, it says during its closest approach, the asteroid, the asteroid will fly by about 8.8 .8 lunar distances from Earth. Um, and then it says, this is, part, this is the part that kind of got me. It says, we continue to discover these potentially hazardous asteroids, sometimes only days before they make their close approaches to Earth. That's pretty assuring, reassuring, huh? Just days before they make their approach to Earth. And they're even saying that um, this flyby is called 2000 EM26. That's the name of the asteroid that's flying by in just a little bit. But they said that flyby comes almost exactly a year after two major near-Earth or NEO events on February 15, 2013. And I remember that. Um, that day, as scientists were tracking the extremely close pass of the 98-foot, 30 milliliter or 30 meter. Wow, this one is much bigger than that. The one that they were tracking. The one that they were tracking was 98 feet or 30 meters. 
This one that's coming by today is 885 feet or 270 meters. Well, anyhow, that day, asteroid 2012 DA14, which I mentioned in a video, um, while they were tracking that, another unrelated space rock unexpectedly exploded above Chelyabinsk, Russia. I don't want to mispronounce that, but it was in Russia, and I'm sure you remember that one. It exploded over Russia and shattered um, windows and so forth. This is causing substantial damage to buildings that injured more than 1,000 people with falling glass. Well, that was um, a year and two days ago that that happened. And that was what was amazing was they were tracking the one and the other one came in under the radar. And I had a dream about, well, a couple of asteroid dreams. My sister had one too. We're still trying to do our collaboration video, but, um, and I saw one and I saw it come from the deep, I could see clearly in the space. I did a video about it. So I won't go into details, but I could just see it coming from the far reaches of space and it got sucked into our orbit and it went around like two or three times. It kind of just got spun into this orbit different from what it, it was in before. It was, got sucked into ours and um, it went around three times and then the third time I was telling my sister, you don't think that could be the one from the book of Revelations. And when I said Revelations, it, bam, it hit the Pacific, the Pacific Ocean, the Pacific, um, at the Pacific Northwest. I was clearly in the state of Washington, up north, and it hit the state of the water off the coast of Washington and caused this tremendous earthquake that knocked us to the ground and we couldn't even move. My sister said she had the same type of dream. I don't know where she was in her dream, but there was an asteroid. I think it hit the ground and caused shaking. So, um, anyhow, this is very interesting. I love anything that has to do with space, science, geology, that type of thing. I'm kind of a nerd that way, but anyhow, that's something interesting I thought you might want to watch. Um, we are living in exciting times. The Word of God talks about signs in the heavens and on earth. So uh, this is just yet another one. We've had a lot of these flybys lately. Um, it's pretty neat. Uh, just something to keep your eyes and ears open for. And I will come back because I don't want this to be too long, but I'll come back and do another video on the drought situation here in California. I recorded a video and thought I uploaded it from my phone, but it didn't work. So I will just redo that. And talk about that next. So, okay, well, God bless you guys, and thank you for hanging in there with us and for praying for my son and, uh, and my family, and God bless you. Thank you for subscribing. I have some new people that subscribed, and thank you for bearing with me. I'm not always uh, on top of these posts like I'd like to be, but when your life is hectic, it's hard to get anything done, you know, let alone post videos. So, uh, God bless you guys, and uh, if you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, it's not too late to accept Him um, as your Lord and Savior. He died for you. Uh, just take a moment to think about it and uh, consider living the rest of your life for Him. My son's in the back. He's eating some something right now, but... Yes, sir. Almost. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Duty calls. Take care. Bye, bye. Aww. You want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye. Aww.